metals preliminary concentration of all procedures an ore is a rocky material which contains a particular metal or mineral ores are usually found on the earth crust the method of obtaining the ore depends on the location of the ore relative to the ground surface now ores that are near the ground are mined by open cast method which is also called quarrying now if the ore is far below the ground then we use deep mining method to obtain it from the earth crust most of the time ores contain large amounts of rock sand and clay which are collectively called gange or simply impurities concentration of ore involves removal of most of these unwanted materials dear learners this video presents the procedures involved in removal of unwanted materials from the metal ores welcome and stay on till the end the ore is first crushed into small lumps then ground into fine powder followed thereafter by other procedures now these other procedures are classified into two we have physical separations and we also have chemical separations let us have a look at the procedures that fall under physical separations under physical separation procedures we also have two methods one is froth flotation and we also have magnetic separation so when it comes to froth flotation method we have a representation of what goes on in the diagram that follows so in this large container we have our powdered ore the powdered ore is mixed with vegetable oil and water in this container that is on our left now the liquid here is a mixture of vegetable oil and water and we all know these are immiscible liquids so what happens is that the mineral bearing particles become surrounded by a film of oil while sand and soil particles are wetted by water once this has taken place once we have a film of oil surrounding our mineral bearing particles and sand and soil particles wetted by water we then bring in a stream of air that is blown into the mixture now when we do this bubbles form which then enclose the oil covered mineral particles and carry them to the top of the large container where they form froth this froth is drained into another container and we obtain what is called mineral concentrate which we then dry 
and expose to further processing a little later. Now, the gange or the impurities settles at the bottom and is then removed. So, this is the description that simplifies froth flotation method. We move on to magnetic separation procedure. Now, magnetic separation is usually used with ion containing ores. We do this because ion is magnetic. So in this case, the powdered ore is exposed to strong electromagnets, which removes the ion containing ore from the unwanted materials. A very simple process. Let's finally have a look at the chemical separations. Chemical separation procedure is also called chemical leaching. So in this procedure, the crushed ore is first dissolved in a chemical where only the ore can dissolve. The solution is then separated from the insoluble materials. Once we have done this, the purified ore will be crystallized out of the solution for further processing. This further processing will depend on the reactivity of the metal. If the metal is very reactive, we shall use electrolysis. And if the metal is not very reactive, then we shall use reduction procedures to obtain the metal from the ore. Learners, with that, we are through with our very short video where we have taken you through the preliminary ore concentration procedures with a lot of emphasis laid on froth flotation method. Thank you for your time and keep it here for more reviews.